Maldini and Igalo. Watford's goals to this point this season have come principally from that man, Etienne Capu, three in the Premier League already. And he will cherish the chance to pit himself against Paul Pogba. Alabas suggesting to Michael Oliver that Wayne Rooney's not the full ten yards. Michael Oliver is content enough. Holabas plays it in very deep. Pernal Dini didn't get there. They won't get a better chance. I think it was uh, Pronal that hit that ball back across the six-yard box. And it was Dini, it was inches away. Best moment of the game so far is a Watford moment. Holabas Dini. Well read by the authoritative Bailly, clearance from Valencia, clouted back forward by Prudel. De Gea has dropped it, and Igolo has put it wide, and it would have stood. Well, I said that Dini probably missed the opportunity just a few seconds ago to have that chance. They won't get a better chance. Well, they did there. Absolutely miscommunication between Smalling and the goalkeeper and a quite incredible miss by Igalo. Will that upset him? Will he show strength of character now? Big test for the boy. Igalo spreads it for Janmat. Gerald Janmat's cross, Dini's header! De Gea's fabulous horizontal save. Thought Valencia out there, came across him beautifully, a lovely left foot ball in by Janmat. Locked up, decided to put the ball into the mixer, and there was Dini getting across a rather sleepy Valencia. Caught cold there, would have been a fine goal. Credit to a brilliant save. Valencia again. And Rashford, sweet. Rooney stepping away from Britos. Fellaini stepping away from Dini. Pogba. Pogba's hit! He has thundered it against the crossbar with immense power. Robas conspiring with Pereira. Britos and Prudel both at the back of the queue. Dabbed forward by Holobas for Igalo. Capu is wide. Capu's cross, Igalo looked to flick it. Fellaini behind him swept it away. Further clear from Rashford. Only to Holobas who reloads. Out again by Fellaini. And now Martial ought to be able to escape, but it's won back by Britos. And here's Jan Matt, and there's Capu, 1-0 Watford! Etienne Capu again! And you know, they just might be worth it! Beautiful pick out, and a lovely clean strike. It was Martial on the far side who went down. I don't know if he lost his footing. Mourinho looks perplexed. Momentarily, but I think Watford has shown a lot of drive in this early part of the game. Ibrahimovic, he's got goal side of Prodel here. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the Austrian, got back very well. And uh, Ibrahimovic, in an elaborate attempt to go again, left the ball behind. Holobas! The hair saw it through a crowd. That was a very good uh, clutch, that was, by the goalkeeper, through bodies. And here is Ibrahimovic, after Manchester United's reshuffle, gets it back from Rashford. Ibrahimovic, Rashford scores! Marcus Rashford! Manchester United's miraculous teenager digs them out again. Running with the ball, sliding it through, going for the return, and a lovely little dink there. A real mess, really, by the Watford defenders. I think it was... Um, Berami. Berami that uh, couldn't quite that ball back. It came off his shoulder, and Rashford is Johnny on the spot once again. Alert, alive, and whoosh. Can he add a little bit more bite to this? Uh... In by Fellaini, Ibrahimovic brilliantly clawed away by Jorelio Gomez. Well, there he is, hands up, wanting that ball. It's a super ball, a wonderful header, and an even 
most magnificent save. What a wonderful textbook header. Great save, Gomez. Here's the change, Etienne Capu, who's had a first month of the season he will remember fondly. He's done an awful lot of running, and he's replaced here by Juan Zuniga, who played the last 17 minutes at Southampton on the opening day, the last seconds against Chelsea here. Amrabat. Running it short, feeding it in for Pereira. Set back for Zuniga! Instant hero! It took seconds! Super sub and sub! Lovely play by Amrabat, Pereira. And then once again, that ball laid back at a lovely angle for the oncoming forward, Zuniga. Well, the manager will get the credit, of course, but uh, it's really lighted up this ground. It was a super move, ball played back lovely, very similar to the first goal. Calm finish, De Gea had no chance. Lovely curled shot into the corner. Now we'll have a few minutes of uh, reckless, or shall I say, a restless time for Watford. Throttle away from Ibrahimovic. Dini going shoulder to shoulder with Fellaini. Baye goes early. Doesn't kick it cleanly. Holobas gets in there. Here's Isaac Success, who skipped away from his man, got it back from Zuniga. And Success is on his way. And Zuniga's square of him. And still Success. And now Zuniga. Fellaini's challenge. Penalty. Watford one kick away, one and a half minutes away. One substitute has scored, the other, with a brilliant Maisy run, has earned them the penalty via which well, they can seal the deal. Fellaini certainly didn't take the ball, did he? Didn't take the ball at all, just caught the player. Crowd behind that goal will tell you. Troy Deeney, their talisman. Historic Hornets goal! Manchester United beaten by Watford for the first time in three decades. He walloped it home. Well, Mourinho will come up with some words, no doubt. But it's their third defeat in succession. And there will be questions asked, maybe about the structure or the balance of the United side. Does the combination of Pogba and Fellaini work? Do they miss a carry? Is Ibrahimovic need Rooney alongside him? All sorts of questions, but what would have proved today that if you're not overawed and you believe in yourselves, you can beat the so-called highest flyers in this season, which is going to be a wonderful Premier League season. A stellar feather in Matt Sari's cap. A never-to-be-forgotten day for Watford Football Club. He couldn't beat Mourinho in Serie A. He's just beaten him in the Premier League. Dini sealed the deal. You know what to do. Click the link over there, yeah? Bosh.